So, still a few more questions are there which we have to complete in that. The first one is, what is an art famous throughout the world? Which art is famous throughout the world? We are going to discuss about them. Okay. The first one of today is, what is the art famous throughout the world for this the answer is first one So see here, which is the famous artwork which is going on means uh, here in the Varangal district uh, there is a traditional cottage industry where a picture of various traditional and mythological figures are drawn with uh, bright colors and dried leaves. I told uh, to do that activity. Do you remember that one? You have to do that activity and this artwork is famous throughout the world. So see here. In the Varangal district, there is a, a traditional cottage industry where a picture of various traditional and mythological figures are drawn with bright colors on dry leaves. This artwork is famous throughout the world. Did you got it? Okay, the next one is Can you think of the earth without plants? Can you imagine our life without the plants? That I think uh, you can uh, write of her, uh, what is that, uh, generally of your view, but uh, I'm uh, trying to explain it. Uh, can you imagine your life without a plant? Can you think of the earth? Without uh, plants, comment on it. For this,
if there are no plants on earth then So you can see here, can you think of the earth without plants? Comment on it. If there are no plants on the earth, no organism would survive. Why? Right? Because we are aspiring through the plants itself. And life would not be possible. Okay. Plants are the basic sources for the survival as they produce food and oxygen for the living things. So, if there are no plants on the earth, then no organisms would survive and life would not be possible. Plants are the basic sources of survival as they produce food and oxygen for the living organisms. Got the point? Next one. Write a note on the Write a note on the diversity of plants and their adaptation. Okay, answer for this one. Write a note on the diversity of plant and their adaptation. The first point is
So please uh, check here. What? Write a note on the diversity of plants uh, and their adaptation. Coming to here, all parts of the plants carry out the functions essentially for the whole plant. Okay, means uh, whatever uh, uh, processes are there, means absorbing the water, preparing the food, or uh, uh, transpiration, respiration, these all uh, processes will take all parts of the plant. Most of the plants, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, most of the plants around us have root, leaves, stem, and uh, flowers. There are diverse forms of plants in nature and plants adapt themselves. Diverse forms means some uh, plants are short, some are long, some are big, some are creepers, some are climbers, and, uh, some are bushes. Like the different varieties of uh, plants are there. But uh, the functioning of uh, each and every plant will be same. Did you understand? And uh, there are diverse forms of plants in nature and plants adapt themselves uh, to different conditions uh, in life uh, in different ways. Means uh, some will uh, adjust for the polar regions, some will adjust for desert regions, some will adjust for uh, the, I uh, mean according to the climatic conditions that plant. But uh, the desert plants, uh, I cannot uh, get to polar regions, the polar plants I cannot uh, take to the desert regions. And uh, while stems usually support uh, the body, in some plants, uh, they are uh, plants, they adjust and start uh, storing the food. Okay, did you understand here? All parts of the plant carry out the functions. Okay, essential for the whole plant. Most of the plants around us have root, leaves, stem and flowers. There are diverse forms of plants in nature and plants adapt themselves uh, to different conditions in the life uh, in different ways. Uh, and while stems usually support the plant uh, body, in some plants they adjust and start storing the food. Got the point? I'll continue tomorrow. Thank you.